Cats and kids, we've talked about this duo quite a bit on this channel, at least in passing. Many times I've talked about the association, because in many aspects of life, cats are like children. However, from a cat's perspective, are children different than adults? Do cats view children in a different way? Are cats aware that something is different between, say, a 50-year-old and a 5-year-old? The answer is honestly rather unknown, at least in the most literal sense. However, what is known is how cats relate to all people based on personality. Your personality, my personality, our personality. It's really all about compatibility. Cats, for as rambunctious and energetic as they can be, ultimately want safety and security. They also very much want peace and quiet. If cats do, in fact, view children differently than adults, that high energy factor could be the most glaring difference. And while not every adult is, let's say, calm and mature, and not every child is rambunctious and just a handful in terms of discipline, some children are in fact live wires. That's a fair statement and nothing wrong with it. Kids just being kids. However, from a cat's point of view, a child's energy and a cat's personality and what they want within their own environment, it could all clash. A bit of oil and water combination very much at work. Anxious cats. Felines that are naturally a bit on edge, they won't really mesh well in the home with young, eager, and adventurous children. In fact, an anxious cat could very well turn to an adult, an adult human that is, for a bit of comfort and protection from the child. In this manner, in this fashion, a cat could very well look at a child in a different way compared to how that same cat views an adult. Here again, the jury is still very much out when it comes to this topic because being quote-unquote viewed differently can mean many things. Do cats know that children are young humans compared to the bigger and taller humans? It's really difficult to know with certainty. This is why it truly comes down to personality. As an example, if a cat entered the home of say a 30-year-old and all that 30-year-old ever did was scream and just run, <laughs> run around the house, the cat would freak out, right? And that cat would not care if that was an adult doing that or a child. The animal would just know the stress, anxiety, and perhaps the fear that those actions were creating. In short, we are known as we are known. Cats are likely quite unaware of the positions that we hold within our own level of maturity, let's say. We know that a 50-year-old commands more respect than, say, a 5-year-old. But cats don't know this. And if they did know, I doubt they'd really care. Felines, they just know friend or foe. And they make those determinations by how they're treated and how they feel within their own environment. In this case, the environment they share with you. So, whether you are 7 or 77, if you personally create a secure and peaceful environment for your cat, that's all that matters. Do this, and your pet will view you as someone they can trust. And in the big picture, the grand scheme of things, that's the only view that really matters. To the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your thoughts on this topic, your views <laughs> on this subject? Anything that you would like to add, I certainly do not claim to have all of the answers, so by all means, we are a community here in giving your take on things. That's very important, very important to all of us, and certainly very important to me. The comments section, as always, it's all yours. And, as always, I do thank you so very much for taking some time out of your busy day to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we will talk to you later.